So, really quick, here's another good old Pelco video. Some equipment I'm installing. Now, originally when I installed the cameras about two or three years ago, in the closet here I had run one extra Cat5 cable and an extra video cable because I knew at some point here I wanted to put a monitor with a keyboard in this room. Now, I mean, eventually I'm going to get rid of all this shit and put in the, an IP system, but, you know, for now I have it, so it's still fun to play around with. Now, this is basically going into the back of the CM6800E uh, 48x8 matrix switch R. And if you could imagine it, it's basically just a long cable that connects the back of this jack over here to COM uh, 4 or 5 to uh, the uh, matrix. I believe it's... No, it's 5 and 6. Those are the two that you can directly power the uh, KVD300A from. So it's just, you plug in uh, a patch cable and on it goes. Now, when the distance of the cable is supposedly over 25 feet, you need to use the, uh, the KBD wiring kit, and you're basically just splicing in a 12-volt power supply there to compensate for voltage loss. And the Cat5 cable that I'm using is complete shit. That's um, pulled behind the walls. It's very thin gauge, and surprisingly, it still works. So you'll see here, uh, just a minute. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a catch cable to COM5, uh, or six in the back of the matrix. So imagine this is the back of the matrix. That's really all it is is a, a big cable that connects that COM port to this little jack I put in the wall. And then I'm gonna plug it right into my KBD thread today. And it comes on, no problem. Now keep in mind this run is way over 25 feet and it still works. So we go one monitor because that's what it corresponds to when we use the little Sony over here, and you'll see that the camera comes up, and we can take manual control of it. We'll hit uh, three cam, and you see we have manual control, and we can zoom in on the uh, corner here and zoom out, and we'll just put it back on its pattern. So it does work. Now, say you did want to put in the KBD kit. Now, keep in mind, I'm using a uh, T5 or an EIA B pattern, the B standard. So that's uh, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Basically, you put a modular connector on one end. Again, the B standard. Uh, let's see if we can focus it in here. But I'll speak it out to you. It's white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown holding the connector like this with a clip to the back. Focus, you fuck. So that's the way it goes. Then, on the other end, right to the, uh, to the wall block, holding it like this. Legend corresponds like that. Pins four and three. Are just power that's 12 volts and there's some I don't know it's pretty fucked up basically what I did is I plugged in the jack here and I just touched with a multimeter to see uh, what went where now here is supposed to be your TX here is supposed to be your RX now keep in mind using the B pattern still the uh, RX minus or the RX plus which you see right there number eight corresponds to a white orange wire the RX minus corresponds to the orange wire. And on the other side, the TX plus corresponds to the brown wire, and then the TX minus corresponds to the white brown wire. So that's all you really need to, to worry about. And the guy from Pelco even emailed me a thing here, uh, and it's showing, you know, using those two pairs. However, it's backwards. So I don't know if I wired something backwards or... Anyways, that's the way it works. So, we plug this in, plug in this end, we're basically just splicing it. So you can imagine we have this, this wire here, we're basically snipping and putting in 
the, the 12 volt power supply. That's that's essentially it. Now, I think you're supposed to use two wall blocks or something. I don't know. It's too confusing. But the way that it works is using a B pattern running a long wire from the COM port to your jack, wherever it's going to be. So essentially extending the COM port to wherever you want it. Using the B pattern, this is how it works. White orange, orange, brown, white brown. That's it. And then this goes into the keyboard, like that, using a patch cable. And then this goes into the COM port of the uh, the matrix of the matrix switch horror. And that's about it. Now, the idea here is to have this little cheapo Chinese uh, five or six inch monitor right there so that I could see this at my desk without having to pull up the, the web client on the computer, which is a bit laggy. And I'll have keyboard control so I won't have to use the mouse. And just an idea for anyone else out there who, uh, if you're installing an analog system, it's these little monitors, they're about uh, 20 to 30 bucks from China. They're made for using, if you install uh, or make your own little backup camera system, you can flip the video so you can put it upside down or whatever. They're really great monitors. Uh, I don't know how long they last. I have a smaller one downstairs that I keep running 24-7 to see how long it's going to take to burn out. And so far it's been going strong. So uh, excellent little monitors. And, and if anyone's curious, this is a Sony watch cam, a very old uh, cathode ray tube um, handheld television. It basically just has a BNC input. I think they were made for focusing cameras. I don't think you could focus more than a piece of toast using this thing, but uh, it does work. It's a cool little uh, device here. What's that say? Oh, there was a stand there. Uh, yeah, I think I picked this up for about 20 bucks. It's more of a retro antique than anything, but uh, that's just a little cool monitor I used to see if video was present. I mean, realistically, it's not it's not clear at all compared to something like this, which is uh, this is this is pretty clear. These are these are good monitors. They're not HD, but uh, they're good. And that's it.